All right, guys, for uh, this video, I'm going to show you guys what I carry in my tool bag and uh, my toolboxes. So uh, we'll start down here and work our way up. So I've got a sharpener. I need to put some pencils in here right now. And then I have a red ink zone and a black one, just extras. And then in the zipper, I carry my time cards. You know, turn them in on Fridays. And, uh, that's really it for that one. And then here, I carry uh, some Allen wrenches, Allen keys. I need to get a new set of these. Those are kind of cheap. Some uh, lockout tagouts. Uh, some of the stickers for the lockout. Some of the stickers for the lockout tagout. I think. Yeah. Um, and that's it. I usually carry some masks in there just in case we're working in an environment where you need them. But I don't have any at the moment. And then right here, you have the you have the uh, option to carry a drill in there, but I don't. I just carry it in my toolboxes, so I zip that all the way up. And right here, it's like a hard shell covering, so I carry anything that could get damaged, like my uh, ticker or my uh, receptacle tester. But um, I have those in my tool toolbox right now. Uh, my meter doesn't fit in here, so I keep it in a big pocket. I also keep an extra set of gloves and uh, some extension nut drivers, all the way from a quarter inch to nine sixteenths. Lost my five sixteenths, I think. Uh, gotta look for it. In this big pocket. Uh, it comes with a little caddy. I like to put this on a. Um, on a lift when we're working on them, I made this little thing just like that and hang it on the lift. Comes in real handy. Um, these are the strippers that I would use when those other ones were rusted that I was talking to you guys about in the last video. And uh, right here I got my reamer with the flat on the inside of it. Working with conduit and stuff. And my cable cutters. I love these things. These things are real nice. And then uh, extra set of strippers that I found actually the other day in Milwaukee. They're a little dull, so they don't really work that well. And in here, uh, another set of channel locks, Milwaukee, same thing. I want to say like nine inch, something like that. Then uh, these Knipex uh, channel locks slash clutch crescent wrench type of thing. These are real nice. Not too big. It's like a crescent wrench. Um, and my meter, the Fluke T6 1000 Pro, I believe. Yeah, T6 1000 Pro. It's real cool. Has the field sense. And uh, when you test continuity, this thing will light up green. So if you're working in a loud work environment, you won't need to hear it. You'll see it. Mm. And it comes with like this little alligator clip to ground it or whatever. And my linemans that are also very rusted. I need to dip them in some vinegar and then put some oil on them and they'll be brand new again. Um, I got all my driver, my screwdrivers here. Uh, these are my insulated ones. I got a Phillips and then a flat. And then, uh, I don't know what you would call this thing. It's the one where it has like the flat and the Robertson right there. Um, then a flat again, and then another Phillips back there. Then these are my regular uh, Klein screwdrivers, a big flat, big Phillips, five in one. This like finished one, I don't really use much and a little uh, Phillips. Um, and right here I just got these, these ones I have no really care for. If I need to beat on something, I'll use these. I hardly use them though, for even that. Um, then I got this Robertson Square 2 insulated. Then up here I have uh, my nut drivers. 
Um, these ones are cool. They're hollow all the way through. So, uh, if you need to get through an all thread or something, you got them. It's from quarter inch all the way to 916. It comes in a pack, like 80 bucks on Amazon. It's been a little stubby back there. Um, all my stuff got rusted because <coughs> when you zip them up like this, the water was seeping through this little hole up here. So I would carry it in the back of my truck in the bed. So now I know not to do that. And this little pocket right here, I keep all my uh, extra bits or like uh, punch and I have a smaller punch and uh, my unibits. A couple extensions are in there. Um, and then in this pocket down here, uh, some speed wrenches. I'm not sure what sizes I have in there, but the sizes you'll need. Like uh, 9 16, 7 16, half inch, you know, all that. All right, here on the side, I've got uh, my other uh, bit holders. Got from Amazon. Got this one also from Amazon. And my 25 footer, um, I'm actually swapping this out to a 16 footer because I hardly ever use a 25 footer. And I just got this today. It's just more lightweight. And uh, that's it for the backpack, guys.